another day. I'm going into another evening. Funny how the manpower shortage hits us every day about this time. Manpower? I'd settle for one without any power. You know, we're getting into a rut. All-girl rut. Grace, let's celebrate. Celebrate what? Well, it must be somebody's birthday. Just think, a nice juicy steak, and then the best show in town. And afterwards, we could go somewhere and listen to some music. Just like old times. Almost. It's a great idea. We'll shoot the works. Oh, I can see spots in front of my eyes, shaped like T-bones. We'll pinch the butcher to see if they're real. There you are. Thank you. 27 points, please. Oh, oh, but you see, we had to rush right over here to get here before 6, and oh, we didn't have time to go home for our ration books. Besides, we don't have enough points left this week for that steak. We'll give you the difference next week. Mm -hmm. Well, it's 27 points, please. Here's the money, $1.35. Oh, we'll pay more. We'll give you $2 for the steak. How about that? Two and a half, and we'll still have enough left for the rest of the evening. Lady, look. The ceiling price is 45 cents a pound, and that's all I can charge. But I've got to have 27 points. Can't you forget the red tape? Well, just this once. We don't need red tape. We need red meat. Lady, as a butcher, I don't want to insult a customer. But as a citizen, I'm getting a little fed up. 27 points! Oh, all right. We'll find somebody who isn't ration happy. We have honest faces, some plasters. Lady, don't break the price ceiling. You're allowed to get hit by a falling plaster. What a delicious dinner. It's all right with me that silly butcher doesn't want to take our money. What a dope. It's all that ration board's fault. Last week, I couldn't even get an extra pair of shoes. The week before, it was gasoline. It's trying to run our lives for us. You know, that second butcher must be making a fortune. Shows what had happened without price ceilings. Yeah. But six dollars for a steak. Keep feeling my teeth in case I bit into a diamond. Oh, well, what if we couldn't go to a show or any place afterwards? Just gave us more time to enjoy our steak. There's nothing like going to bed with a good book. If the board had its way, it'd be a ration book. <laughs> for anybody. You call for me. I'm your conscience. You're my butcher. And if you don't get out of here, I'll scream. <laughs> that won't do any good. No one could hear a dream scream. And besides, you can't get away from your conscience. Okay, conscience, what next? I want both you girls to come and meet the ration board. Get the facts. Find out what it's all about before you complain or break the rules. That's great with me. I've been waiting for a chance to tell them off. But will they be working this late? Oh, sure. They stay awake all night thinking up new rules. Come on, come on, girls. You're awfully slow. Good evening. That's the chairman of the local board. This is Louise and Gracie. They want to make a complaint. A complaint? Well, you certainly come to the right place. Come in. What'd that tell you? He's got horns. Yeah, that's how people seem when they don't worry about learning the facts. Uh, would you mind explaining the reason of racing to these girls? You see, large amounts of foods like meat, butter, canned fruits, and vegetables are going to war. Now, in order to see that everyone gets a chance to buy his or her fair share, we ration them. Share and share alike. And then to keep down the cost to a reasonable level and eliminate profiteering, we put ceiling prices on these foods. Without these ceiling prices, the scarce goods would simply go to those with the most money. A fair share at a fair price. That's the purpose of rationing and price ceiling. Oh, I don't care anything about that. I came here to protest. All right, Gracie. Just before you start pounding the table, I'd like you to know that he is a volunteer worker. Outside of a few paid clerks, all the local boards are comprised of periodic citizens who often work far into the night for you. You mean to say he isn't in the business? He doesn't get paid? No, of course not. I'm a lawyer and pretty busy these days on my own, too. You mean you work that hard for free? Certainly. Um, you can take those off now. Thank you. There are about 5,200 boards like this all around the United States. 
Every community has its individual problems. Representative men make up the local boards. It gives us a feeling we're contributing to the war effort, ensuring the flow of goods to the soldiers and to the home front. But they aren't being delivered to us. Why not call the whole thing off? It'll save us a lot of trouble and you a lot of time. That'll be all right for me. Worrying about points and changing ceiling prices driving me daffy. Sure, it's a lot of bother and a lot of extra work. Nobody likes it, nobody wants it. But it's the lesser of two evils. But if you really want to call this whole thing off, well, we're only doing it to protect you. So it's all right with me. Oh, boy! Come on, Louise, let's go to the store and stock up before everything is gone. As we pay the growers, the railroads, and the workers are shooting up faster than we can change our prices. And they need money so they can buy from you retailers. Everything's gone crazy. Everybody loses. Oh, boy. I got troubles. Lady, I don't care if you pay a thousand dollars for a hamburger. There's none left. I'll take two cases of Share? None of you wanted rationing. I wanted rationing. And price ceiling. I live on the allotment my boy sends me. He's in the South Pacific. I guess everybody like me who lives on a fixed income is out of luck. With crackers, a dollar a box. I'm afraid my allotment won't buy enough to eat. Louise, I'm ashamed. So am I. Maybe, maybe if we go to the ration board and, ex and, and apologize and... Listen, let's go over to the board and make them give us our ration points and price ceilings again. I thought there were going to be a lot of trouble. But anything is better than this. Come on. <laughs> about Charles Boyer. Oh, I have a wonderful dream boy, too. Who? That marvelous, handsome ration board chairman. Grace, from now on, I'm going to pay all my points for everything I get and observe the price ceilings. Boy, I've sure learned my lesson. 